hello everybody lucid dream infinity here wanted to do a little video right now about um, about <clears throat> why bother lucid dreaming what's what's the point who cares why would you want to learn how to lucid dream okay so there's a, a lot of different reasons that I could point to uh, in terms of why you would want to learn this skill uh, but before I do that I just want to make sure that we're all sort of on the same page here in terms of talking about lucid dreaming and understanding what lucid dreaming actually is so lucid dreaming is when you're asleep and you're in a dream and you sort of look around and you realize oh wow holy shit, I'm asleep and I'm dreaming right now. So it's, it's an awareness. It's, it's an awareness that you're asleep and that you're having a dream while that dream is happening. So that's what lucid dreaming is. Uh, and it's a highly, uh, highly desirable state for a number of reasons. So getting back to our original question, why is this something worth learning? Why is it something it's worth doing and the answer to that is that once you've cultivated a lucidity practice and sort of understand how to lucid dream you've got this amazing ability to shape your dreams in any way that you want in any way that you see fit and you're really only limited by your imagination. So let's let's look at some examples of this. Uh, let's say that you fall asleep tonight and you are dreaming and while your dream is occurring you become lucid and you realize oh this is a dream right now I'm, I'm inside of a dream. Okay so everything in the dream state appears to be real and if we are not lucid during a dream, our minds are so powerful that we are convinced that what we are experiencing inside of our dreams is true and real. And so, upon becoming lucid in a dream, you've got this, this ability to do virtually anything you can possibly imagine. And so, uh, th one of the reasons for learning lucid dreaming is, is, uh, is for wish fulfillment. That's sort of one of the, the primary reasons that, that people seize on for why bother learning lucid dreaming at all. Well, because once you've developed your skill of lucid dreaming and you can become lucid in dreams, all of a sudden you've got this, this a vast range of experiences that you can engage in. So for example, let's say that you're, uh, you're asleep, you're dreaming, and you become lucid, and you realize that you're having a dream, uh, and you want to fly. What human being has not wanted to fly? So you're, you're, you're in your dream, you become lucid, you realize that you're dreaming, and now you can fly. You can fly like Superman or you can, you can levitate off of the ground slowly, however you want to do it. And you can blast through your dream world and explore it while you're flying, right? How, how awesome is that, right? We've, I, I'm willing to bet that most of us have probably had a dream in which we were flying. However, we're not aware while it was happening that it was a dream. Okay, so once you become lucid in a dream, you can do something like that. You could go flying. Uh, so another another highly desirable experience in a lucid dream is having dream sex, right? So there you have this ability to uh, you know have have a, a sexual encounter with with anyone that you want. So you could sort of like, you know, manifest in the lucid dream your, uh, you know, a, a, a woman or a man that is just your 
it epitomizes beauty and and what you desire, and you can have sex with them and, and have very sort of powerful experiences and, and, and things like that. Okay, so why bother learning lucid dreaming at all? Obviously, okay, number one, we're talking about desire fulfillment, wish fulfillment. It opens that door. You can do all of these things. You can fly, you can have dream sex, you can explore the universe, right? So that's sort of the principal reason that people to turn to for learning lucid dreaming. Okay, so so going beyond that though, going beyond wish fulfillment, there are a vast number of other reasons to learn lucid dreaming. Um, one of those one of those reasons is the the sort of psychological applications. Uh, if, if you're a, if you're a spiritual person, for example, if you have a meditation practice, well, you might consider what it might be like to meditate in a lucid dream, right? So, it, so that that would be like meditating in a in a in a purely mental dimension, right? Because our dreams are mental space; they're created by our minds. There's not uh, anything that's really solid and physical about them. So, you might consider you might consider doing something like that, meditating, or if you have a mantra that you chant, you might experiment with doing that in a lucid dream. So there are these spiritual applications. There's also psychological applications. For example, if you're if you're interested in uh, communicating with your unconscious or with your with your subconscious mind and learning from that, that's that's also something that you could do in a lucid dream. And I'll go over some, some, some methods for doing that in a different video, but right now I just want to stay focused on the reasons for why I bother learning lucid dreaming at all. So in addition to those things, right, we've got wish fulfillment, we've got uh, spiritual practice, uh, we've got uh, psychological applications, uh, but in, in addition to all of those, I think that the real potency and that the real potential of lucid dreaming lies in using it for uh, sort of practical applications in, in terms of, of uh, finding answers to the challenges that we face in waking life. Um, one said there, are, there, are, there are dozens and dozens of examples of this having already uh, been done. Um, with both lucid dreams and with regular dreams. Uh, one example that comes to me off the top of my head is uh, how Albert Einstein had said that he had a dream in which he was sledding at the speed of light and he looked up at the stars and the, the stars were sort of dancing and, and refracting into these different sorts of amazing colors that he'd never seen before. This was a dream that Einstein had when he was a young man and in a television interview towards the end of his life with, uh, with this guy named uh, Edwin Newman, uh, Einstein recounted this, this dream uh, to, to Edwin Newman and sort of made this statement that uh, he believed his entire scientific career had been a meditation on that dream. And uh, in, the, in the description below this video, I'll put a link of you know, famous scientists and, and people that have won Nobel Prizes uh, because of the discoveries in the
really utilizing more of consciousness and utilizing the mind in a more holistic way, in a more dynamic way through, you know, obviously what we already do when we're awake, but then also also uh, turning to our, our dreams to gain uh, insights into the challenges that we face while we're awake. So those are the reasons to learn lucid dreaming, your desire fulfillment, your psychological and spiritual applications, and and also to help with uh, with the challenges that uh, that we face in waking life. Um, and I'll put a bunch of, of examples and information about this in the description uh, and links in the in the box below this video, so you can check those out as well. Okay, see ya.